It is a few minutes to six o'clock in the morning as students rush out to classes for their morning preps. This, in fact, is the second event of the day for Mangu High School. The first one started with breakfast at 5.30 a.m. In Mangu, everybody knows what is to be done and it must be done on time as a matter of tradition. Among we? No. Among we? No. Among we? Among we? Gathering at parade is a once-in-a-while occurrence here. And whenever it takes place, the students are full of expectation. May I take this opportunity on behalf of everyone in this school to congratulate our teams, our sportsmen, most particularly the rugby team. Our sportsmen, now that we have uh, done us proud, it is important for us also to respect the time you are pra practicing in the field. And in that way, the expectation is fulfilled because Mangu has always been a great performer. Yet, in itself, the school is no more than these simple aging structures located on 214 acres of land. However, it was way back in 1925 that the school was founded at Kaba in Machakos by the Holy Ghost Fathers. That is when the clamor for higher education in Kenya was at its highest and the churches responded. The Protestant missions came with Alliance High School. The Catholics came with Mango High School. But at that time, it was at Kaba. Later, around 1939, it moved to the so-called Mang village, about uh, 11 kilometers from here. And then later, in 1972, Mang High School moved to its uh, present site. The Lord be with you. So then we continue to pray. Like every other institution, Mang High School's character is built on certain principles that have guided it for decades. Mang is a school that was established on um, a very strong religious uh, background. This is a school that is uh, sponsored by the, the Catholic Church, the Archdiocese of Nairobi. And we have all along put ourselves before God in everything that we do. And with that trust, they go about their studies. The normal curriculum that is taught in public schools all over Kenya is the one that is pursued here. And as a school, we have managed to come this far because of the discipline that this school has. That is where we have also managed to register very, very good results, especially this year. In academics, Mangu High School has been of great stature. The school has remained competitive in the national examinations. Since the introduction of 844 system of education, the school has maintained a position among the top 10 schools in the national examinations. We had over 33 students calling mean grade of an A minus, the highest number of these since the 844 exam started. And we are still hoping to keep on improving our performance. When it relocated here, it had 253 students in what was to be the first phase in the school's development and expansion to accommodate, in particular, the newly introduced aviation technology class. But for over three decades, there has hardly been any expansion in physical facilities beyond phase one. Yet, the student's population has continued to rise. At the moment, the number has grown to over 800. The facilities that you see in Mang today were actually meant for a double stream school. However, over the years, you realize that we have expanded to a very over-enrolled four-stream school using the same facilities that were meant for a double stream. And over the time, although a few improvements have been made here and there, we have not been able to make a very significant improvement in terms of our fiscal facilities. And that is why we now need a massive uh, effort to be able to increase the capacities, uh, to be able to cope with the current a number of students. Now, uh, to do that, we need to get 
everybody whom we can count on to assist us in this noble exercise. We are calling particularly on the old boys who have been the mainstay of our school to come and support their old school so that we can have a better facility for uh, the future children of this nation. For now, the school has sufficient teaching staff, though the space in the administration block seems to have grown too small for its purpose. That is a staff room that was meant to accommodate teachers for two streams. We are now at 50. Some of them have to stay standing because the space is extremely small for that number. If you go to the dormitories, the story is the same. Get to the dining room, it's not any better. Here, students sleep in cramped environment. If the unpredictable was to occur, then there would hardly be room to move. The few sanitary facilities that have served the students over the years have yielded to pressure with time. They look derelict, yet you may say they look better now, thanks to the recent facelift they received. It is lunch break, and the Mangu community must be on time. In a moment, the dining hall begins to overflow with diners, and the tables may soon give in to the wait above. Perhaps you may also notice the general state of the hall. Probably, what makes Mangu to be what they are is their motto. Jishinde Ushinde is the spirit that has galvanized the school to be among the best academic performers, not only in Kenya, but in the region as a whole. You check for the free movement of the, of the ailerons and up or nose down by using those kind of levers. They have also been the leaders by pioneering aviation technology, power mechanics, and electrical engineering subjects in our high school's curriculum. We have contributed a lot as a school to the aviation industry in this country. A lot of the pilots in Kenya Airways have gone through Mangu. A lot of the officers in um, Kenya Air Force have gone through Mangu. And therefore we feel we have contributed again a lot to the development uh, of this country. Mangu has remained as one of the leading schools in promoting science. For instance, the school initiated a mathematics contest in 1996 when they noticed a continual deterioration in performance in the subject nationally. The event has since grown, attracting interest from all over the country. So it has grown. Like last year, we had about 246 schools. So we had to look for uh, uh, some help from outside. Despite all this, Mangu's crowning achievement probably lies in its alumni. Its simplicity may be deceptive, but that hides a long history and tradition of success and pride of place. Yet, Mangu still yearns for facilities as it reaches a dead end. Many schools, particularly in the Western world, and even universities for that matter, they depend very much on the old boys or old girls uh, to support their schools and so on. And now we should be no exception. So I welcome this initiative of trying to raise money for Mangu High School. The school has no social or lecture hall. Some of the optional subjects are taught outside because of lack of enough classrooms. There is no functioning library. Science teachers have to perform some of the experiments at night, lunch breaks or games time, as there is only one laboratory. Although the school offers agriculture, there is no workshop. The playing fields are not graded and the school vehicles are very old and might stall at any time. To enter the school compound, one does not have to go through this gate as the compound is unfenced. Housing for the staff is severely constrained. Out of the current 55 teachers, only 20 are properly housed in the school, while non-teaching staff are not housed at all. Most of them live in these makeshift structures they have put up themselves. Here is where the challenges of PTA comes in, because the parent-teacher association are expected, by and large, to provide for the infrastructure in the school, the classes, the dormitories, administration blocks, laboratories, 
library, the bulk of those infrastructure is supposed to be funded by the parents. And this is why the PTA is very, very crucial towards the, the promotion of education in a school like, like Mangu. As a national school, Mangu admits students from all corners of the country. Quite a number of them report to school without even a pen, and that eats into the school's already strained resources. But in spite of all this, the school continues to extend a welcoming hand. So we want to start an endowment fund, a fund which can assist the needy students of this country. We have educated, and it has always been the tradition of Mangu, to bring in students from the very poor areas, uh, for, particularly from parents who could not afford the fees. And this continues to date. We are educating a lot of kids whom the Archbishop brings to us from the more marginal district. And without the government for giving us permission to accept students from remote areas, even East Pokot and Tana River district, regardless of their faith, as a matter of fact, we give even Muslims a place where they can pray. However, there are some institutions which have come in to assist the needy students in view of this plight. Okay, I'm being sponsored by Mumia's Sugar Company. And the difference that it has made in my life is that I know that without the sponsorship, I would not be able to complete my education in this in Mangu High School. At this point, I want to thank Jomo Kenyatta Foundation for sponsoring me because they have been paying my school fees since for one, and they have been have not been experiencing, have not been chosen away by the school to go for school fees. We want to have Mangu as a real center of excellence. It has already always been. It has been probably one of the best science-based schools that this country has ever had. We want to bring this even to better threshold. But the school will only be able to attain a better threshold with your support. Therefore, help Mangu to face the future with confidence.